Hi, I'm Brennan from Waffles Community Robotics and in this video we're taking a look at light sensors. So just like the past videos on sensors, there's four main blocks that interact with them. The weight, the loop, the switch, and the actual sensor block. Uh, it's important to know that the difference between the NXT, G, or NXT and uh, EV3 is a little bit different here. So those of you who are familiar with the NXT, there was both a color sensor and a light sensor. For the EV3, uh, it's only one sensor, so it does both the color sensing and the light sensing. So let's pull out the sensor block. So it's just right here, it's just outputting the color that it's seeing. And it's outputting the percentage of reflected light right here. and it's outputting the ambient uh, light so the light that's coming in it's not being reflected back it's just like um, say you're looking at a room that's that's ambient light how how bright the room is uh, reflected light is looking at a surface pointing the sensor at a surface and then seeing how much is being reflected back so if we look at compare for color you can choose multiple colors that you're looking for. So say you're looking for red or white. Then what will happen is if either of them are, are seen, either, either red or white, then this output will be true. If not, it will be false. You could just have one or you could have all of them. And then again, it's displaying what color you're seeing. Uh, each of the color hat each of the colors have a uh, number associated with them so you know brown white etc 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 so zero is no color one is black so if you're displaying it to a screen or something you only see the number so you have to go back and look at what uh, the number what color the number corresponds to and reflected light intensity so this is when you're looking at an object and you're measuring how much light is bouncing back off of it so that's basically what this value is the reflected light intensity so zero would mean there's no light reflected back zero percent of the light is bounced back which wouldn't actually happen in real life but theoretically uh, that that could happen and a hundred would be every single uh, bit of the light is reflected back which also wouldn't happen because no surface is perfectly uh, reflective. And right here, uh, it shows uh, different cases that you're looking for. Right now, it's set to less than. So if it's less than 50, then this output will be true. And again, it's just displaying the current value that it's seeing. Ambient light is exactly the same the same exact settings just a different type of uh, measurement there's also calibration settings so uh, when you set this you can either have an input as you can see there this is an input uh, plug you can have something coming in or you can set it manually uh, to have your lowest uh, value that's say on the field mat so that will be your darkest value that you can find on the field mat and this will help you uh, figure out, it'll help you make your uh, sensors more accurate. And once again, this is your maximum value, so your brightest color, which is probably white. Um, and theoretically, once again, it would be 100, but uh, realistically, it's going to be something lower than that. So if we go to the orange palette and pull out the weight block, once again there's compare and change. Compare is exactly the same as the uh, one over here. It's just waiting for a true statement. Uh, if any of the colors that you select are found that the uh, color sensor sees, then it'll move on. And once again, say uh, if it's greater than 50 so if it's brighter than 50 uh, percent of the uh, 
light being reflected then it'll move on and then it's displaying whatever you can output the uh, current percentage that it's seeing and it's the exact same thing for uh, ambient light just a different measurement as I said so if we go to change so right here it's just waiting for any change in color and it's just once again outputting whatever color it's seeing and if it loads okay so uh, similar to the uh, rotations you can look in specific directions so you're looking for an increase say 10% of 10% um, more uh, light reflecting back or 10% less or 10% 10 10 in any direction and if it's true if that uh, condition is satisfied then it will move on to the next few blocks in your program and again it's displaying the percentage that it's seeing right now and the ambient light is exactly the same just a different measurement as I said so let's get rid of the weight block and pull out a loop so once again what you're setting here is the condition for it to exit the loop so right now it's set to if it's red then then exit the loop you can set multiple colors or whatever for whatever uh, need you have uh, again just like the uh, brick buttons it's an array, a numeric array, so multiple uh, numbers can be carried within one wire. So that saves on space, and that allows you to pick multiple uh, cases where it might exit the loop. Once again, if it's less than 50% of the uh, light being reflected back, then exit the loop. And ambient is the exact same thing, just different measurement, just of uh, ambient light. And the switch. So you can measure the color, so you can add multiple cases, so you can look for a specific color. So if you see, if you see black, run this, if you see blue, run this. Remember that the default case, if none of them are true, so say you're seeing red, then it'll automatically run the black uh, line of code. So if you want it to do something different if it's seeing red, then you want to add a, add a case, change it to red, and now if it sees red, it'll run this part, not the black part. And if you want to delete a case, just click on that. And we'll look at compare. So now we're back into true or false statements. And if any of this, the uh, colors that you select are are found um, with your light sensor, then it'll be true, and you'll run this part. If not, it'll be running the false part. And if we go to the compare reflected light. If it's, uh, you see, the, you can change it, so, I don't know, let's do equal to. If it's exactly equal to 50% of the the light being reflected back, then it'll be true. If not, it'll run the false part. And for the last time, it's exactly the same for ambient light. So, uses, I'm not going to show you because they're, it's important for teams to figure out exactly how to do these things. Um, mainly, the specific uses are line following or line finding, which will help you align your robot in the correct position while you're out in the middle of the field. And so that will help you become more accurate with your robot. And there's a whole bunch of other cool things that you can do with them. Uh, I'm sure you can be creative. But yeah, that's pretty much it for light sensors.